I'm actually shocked. <laughs> I'm actually shocked. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Okay. So this is how Jennifer looked before. And this is her now. Today we're going to be taking a look at another problematic photo shoot from America's Next Top Model. I guess this one was so controversial and problematic that they couldn't even find a photographer to shoot it. So they had to get Tyra to do it. That's according to what I've read and what have, some people have told me. I don't know if it's necessarily true, but that's just what I heard. So yeah, I guess if you can't find a photographer for the photo shoot because they don't want to be associated with it, maybe that's a little bit of a red flag, like maybe maroon, pink. Let's take a look and see what they did this time. <laughs> this is from season 13, episode eight. It's called Let's Go Surfing. Did we survive our little surfing adventure yesterday? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, Laura's like almost, oh, child, you're a little burnt. But I hope you guys came ready to impress your photographer today. Someone you kind of worked with before. Miss Tyra Banks. Ah! Hi guys, I'm so excited. I'm gonna be photographing you guys for the second time. Now this is the first yeah. time that I've ever done this in Top Model history. And it's because Hmm, okay, for, okay, that's very interesting. So she even says it herself, maybe the first or second time she's photographed, okay. And it's because you guys inspire me. You're absolutely beautiful. Well, you know what, you guys are standing in. Was that really the reason, Tyra? I love how she's like, I'm doing it because you all inspire me. Well, that's not what they said on Reddit, Tyra. I'm just saying, but I don't know, again, I'm probably wrong. In the middle of one of the many sugarcane fields, as she sits and gnaws on sugarcane here in Hawaii, once the Hawaiians started growing sugarcane commercially, they realized they needed a larger workforce. So as a result, people from all over the world in different countries immigrated here to get jobs. So what happens when men and women from different places come together? You get babies! <laughs> Lots of what? babies that are from different cultures. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it's good that we ended on that because I was like, B don't tell me you're bringing in children and babies into this one again. You know, every time they bring the kids into these photo shoots, I'm like, please don't. Just leave them watching their Sunday morning cartoons, you know, eating cereal. Okay, so she said diversity and culture. Okay, I think we know where this is going, guys. <laughs> Lots of babies that are from different cultures. A mix. And it's called what? Papa. Papa means in Hawaiian. Do you guys know the most famous hapa in the world? No, I don't. President Barack Obama! Yeah. Oh! Right. You know what? For today's photo shoot, you girls are... I'm thinking they're going to show one of the top models in the world who's mixed, and then they end up <laughs> showing Barack Obama. That's right. And you know what? For today's photo shoot, you girls are going to undergo a transformation and actually have to portray two very different distinct races. Laura! Mexican and Greek. Oh God, we're doing this again. Is everybody, you guys got, everybody got their tea, their crackers, everybody, get, we're all good? Oh God, we're doing this again. <laughs> As I said in the last one, when they changed the women's ethnicities, I think it's a terrible idea because if, again, if you want a certain mix or a, a certain ethnicity, I think that you should just get a person who is that actual ethnicity who saw the first changing ethnicities photo shoot and was like yeah actually we should do that again yeah let's just change it up a tiny bit you know <laughs> like who is in these meetings i oh gosh okay greek and mexican which are totally different how freaking cool is that Aaron, you're going to be tibetan like the dalai lama i don't know anything about tibet i have very vague knowledge of tibet except that it needs to be freed Egyptian. Okay, they're bringing, they're bringing us into it, you guys. Well, I'm not Egyptian, but you know, I'm in that, you know, the Arab region, Middle East, Africa, you know, kind of, I know a lot of people <laughs> who are Egyptian. Okay. <laughs> they're bringing us into it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I feel. Okay, I'm not Egyptian. I'm actually Lebanese. Even though they're not technically a part of the Middle East, you know, we we share a common language, Arabic. They have a different dialect. 
we share a lot of the same culture traditions all that stuff so and i have friends who are egyptian so this is gonna be very interesting <laughs> and the last photo shoot where they changed the ethnicities i was waiting for them to do something like arab and so this i knew it i knew they were gonna try it all my arab brothers and sisters are you guys ready <laughs> yalla sunday you're gonna be moroccan and russian Native American and East Indian. Oh, no. 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 I love the reaction of all the models. She's like, oh, like, <laughs> what are they going to do? Like, well, how are they going to make, how are they going to mix it together? I don't get it. I think, don't tell me they're going to like mix in clothes, you know, like do a headpiece and then like the bottom half is going to be, I don't know, man. This is, <laughs> I just, I can't see this going well. Moroccan dress, inspired by Moroccan dress, every outfit mm -hmm. is not necessarily what people of that culture are wearing now. They call this Malagasy in Japanese. It might not even be a necessary exact of what they've worn even in the past. It's a fashion interpretation of it. Oh, that's really beautiful. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. They've started, guys. They brought the brown paint. <laughs> they brought it with them from the last ethnicity photo shoot. Yep. It's the same. It looks like the same shade. Yeah. Look at they just got two of these guys like slathering it on her. This poor girl. All of us girls have to be painted and plastered with different Yo, did you guys see? This guy was holding a cup, okay? A cup. They're over here painting them from a red plastic cup. Let me just, I gotta see this. I gotta, look at this guy, happy as can be. He's holding that plastic cup. He's like, yeah, put more right there. Yeah, you missed her. She's not brown yet, yeah. Terrible, this is just terrible, you guys. <laughs> Oh my, and it seems like they're painting more than one per. Like, is everyone gonna be brown? Are you ready for your hair piece? Tyra, she was a challenge winner. Yeah? She got up on the surfboard and she turned it out. That's the pose you need to bring to this shot. Okay, let's just wait, wait, wait. One more smile, one more sequence. Chin up, chin up, chin up, chin up. Isn't she supposed to be the one that's Egyptian? This is not the Aaron that I know. It's very, it's too cozy. It's too like you're doing a jeans campaign or you're doing lingerie. It's too commercial. Eyes to me. I don't like that kind of critique. I feel it's very vague. Oh, you look like you're doing a jeans commercial. Oh, it looks like a lingerie advertisement. Okay, so how can the model improve? Some things that I would usually say is, okay, like, you know, create more shape in your elbow, move your arms a little bit. We need a little bit more movement. And I don't really get that from this, but let's see how she does for the rest of the models. Aaron, feel that spirituality, the Tibetan culture, it's all about ritual. Can we change your hat? Um, can you just feel being Arab for a second? Yeah, the hummus and the fatouche. Can you just feel that? Do a little belly dance too. Like, you can't feel something that you're not a part of or you don't believe in. It just sucks that I didn't spend my time learning more about Tibet because it probably would have come in handy now. Think about Egypt, the people, what they've been through. Aaron was the are you serious? Oh my, did she just say, think about what the Egyptians have been through? Habib Tela'a, man, no, don't. First of all, I didn't even know what culture this was. I thought this was like another one, another, I didn't know this was an Egyptian one. It looks nothing like Egyptian culture. I don't even know what this is. I've never seen this in my life. Can any Egyptians tell us, does this look like, like, have you seen your grandma wearing this? Like, can any of I'm gonna call my friend Abir and be like, can you just like <laughs> tell me about this look? 
just think about what the Egyptians have been through. Yeah, war, poverty, all that. Yeah, just think about that while you're posing for this fashion campaign for reality television. Yeah, just think about all the devastating things that happened to these people that you didn't even know like two, about 10 minutes ago. Just very tone deaf to say things like that. I hope that this was the only comment that she made like this. I do have a picture that she happened to fall into. That was great. But she fell into it. It was an accident. Okay. Thank you. That was tough. Chin up, chin up, chin up. I definitely don't know nothing about Greek people. So hopefully I can pull it off. Okay, we're waiting for the Greeks to show up in the comments. Okay, let's go. So all the Greek people, are you guys ready? <laughs> we got the same color as not Tyra. Do we get hazel? Uh-huh. Instead of blue? Ready? Laura was Mexican and Grecian, and in the beginning of her shot, the styling just kind of looked too, like, on the nose. It didn't have a fashion mm. interpretation. Can you do it back to front? Oh, that looks chicer now. That's pretty cool. No? Dude, that looks so terrible. What? Is, what? I'm gonna try something else. Okay, I like it. This is so lazy. They got a stereotypical headpiece from one culture and then like a clothing piece from another culture they put them together and they're like okay this must be it okay this is we did it guys we did it so i don't do you guys know any greek people who are wearing still wearing this anyone in greece can you guys tell us what do you guys think of this headpiece when you guys see people wearing it like for halloween and stuff what do you guys think i'm very curious what your thoughts are on this <laughs> okay when Laura said, Tara, I want you to be brutally honest with me, I told her the truth, and then she broke out of the rut. Nice. There you go. Nice. Close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. Come on, close your eyes. I love how there's somebody sticking his hand in and then probably like fixing all the settings on the camera. Are you using manual, Tyra, or are those auto settings? Aperture priority? I'm <laughs> just joking. The, I'm actually shocked. <laughs> I'm actually shocked. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Okay. Should we talk about... No, we shouldn't. Okay, let's just... Let's just. I love this still shot of Tyra. She's like, yeah, add a little bit more. You missed this part right there. <laughs> came together and I feel like I really looked exotic. Work it out. Hold it. Nice. Beautiful. Chin up. I'm sure you don't, Tyra, because you made her into 20 different ethnicities, races, cultures. I don't, I'm just kind of over this. Look at they're like destroying the environment so they, they can do this photo shoot. They're like, let's just bulldoze all of these trees and everything here, all the sugar cane. <laughs> I'm just joking. I know it's like a sugar cane field. They're probably like harvesting it or something, whatever they do with sugar cane. So. <gasps> oh my god i didn't even know that was her i feel i feel bad for this girl because they obviously were put in this predicament like pipsy are you seeing this you gotta come see this she's sleeping so this is how jennifer looked before and this is her now Oh my god. Did you make more shakes with your body? Jennifer was a mess. I was uninspired. I was actually panicking. Can we check? I mean, could you, could you guys have contributed to that at all? You think you guys are a little responsible? At least she was kind of giving critique this time, saying, like, okay, make shapes with your body. Breathing. No 
Botswana that music is heard everywhere you go. Just bringing in a little bit of that beat, it'll register on your face. Botswana! I can hear it! Polynesia! Oh my god, this is, that's just, ugh. Look at it, they're like, we're just gonna play some uh, music from Botswana so that you can really feel like you're from there. Like, what? It's nice to see how they're shooting this though. They have the reflectors on the sides. Like when I'm watching shows like these, I really pay attention to the setup so that I can learn from it. So when I shoot, I can kind of replicate it. So it's interesting to see where they're holding reflectors and stuff like that. No, they no, they didn't. I I swear to God, I knew they were gonna do this. If you're Native American or East Indian, I really want to know your thoughts. What do you guys think about this? Look at this. Look at. This. I mean, it's just like okay, let's just take all the stereotypes of each culture and just put them in the picture together. Let's just put them all at once. Is that okay? <laughs> How? How does one embody Native American in India? <laughs> How? Because she's posing for a picture in a photo shoot? So I actually know Sunday. We were chatting on Instagram. She's super cute. I was supposed to see her in Japan, but I never made it out. But definitely next time I'm in Japan, I want to meet her in person. I think she's so cute. Very cool personality. I watch her videos all the time. She has a YouTube channel. So let's see. Hey, girl, if you're watching this. Okay, I just have to say she's looking gorgeous. I actually really like this pose so far. Okay, first of all, Sunday looks gorgeous. I love her makeup. I actually really like the outfit. I think it's cool. I would have loved this concept had it not, not been about changing anyone's race or ethnicity or skin color. I think it would have been so much more successful had they just kept everybody the same and just dressed them up. Um, even with like cool colors and patterns like this because I'm really liking these colors. It was given the Russian anyone who's moroccan or russian sound off in the comments i want to know your thoughts i'm really interested to see what you guys think because People who are from there can actually tell us like, okay, this, 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 in terms of the attire and the hats and all that. So I'm kind of interested to see what you guys think. Sunday was probably the biggest surprise for me. She's been pretty, you know, so-so. Today, she nailed it. Sunday is super cute. So gorgeous. Cannot wait to work with her when I'm back in Japan. And it's finally over. Let's get to the judging and see what happens. So... The girls were representing something in Hawaii called hapa. Hapa means half. Half one race, half another race. So what hapa were you representing? Botswana and Polynesia. So let's see your best shot. Let's talk about the photo, shall we? Let's just keep it photo related right now. The photo is looking overexposed from the background. I don't know why, because she was using a flash, so she probably could have exposed for the background. But maybe she did this purposely because she wanted the overexposed look. But then it just looks weird because there's like random pieces of sugarcane or straw or whatever that is. You know, it just, it's like random pieces in the background that kind of look distracting. But as far as like the actual subject goes, I think it's a very interesting picture. I actually kind of like it. 
photo wise only but you know the skin retouching is really nice the angle on your body is perhaps not as flattering as it could be Other see things like that i think are the photographer's responsibility like saying like oh the angle of your body wasn't flattering yeah but the photographer took the photo in that angle the photographer is there to direct make sure it is taken at the best angle so i don't think it's fair to put that blame on the model what is going on here what why are her legs like that <laughs> why are they all holding sticks <laughs> i feel like everyone's gonna be holding a stick they literally cut off most of the greek headpiece which was supposed to make her greek more greek <laughs> but they cut it out like it hardly even shows and then why are her why is she in this pose why are her feet out i f really feel like a lot of this is on the photographer to get a good shot yeah the models are there to pose but like things like see this piece of like this board on top of her foot right here photographer should have been like hey let's move that you know models are not paying attention to stuff like that so we work as a team together what hop off were you portraying it was tibetan and egyptian interesting i love the concave what is going like what is that i haven't my Egyptian brothers and sisters, do you guys recognize any of this? What is what is she wearing? Is that like a abaya? Is that supposed to be a abaya? I don't I don't get it. Listen, my cat will tell the truth. Does this look anything Arab to you? You've been in my house. You've been yelled at by my mom. Does this look anything like us? The side light I really love for this photo, but I think Tyra could have gone down a stop to save some more skin details because a lot of this photo is overexposed you lose so much detail like notice here and then again here and you just it's just random stuff in the background that's very contrasted the skin retouching was done very well and i like the tones of the photo it's a beautifully bored picture if it makes sense Photographing you was interesting to me, Erin, because it was the polar opposite of when I photographed you the first time. You blew me away. You were just so dynamic. And the moment you stepped on this set, it was like you were the only one that was not there. And then also when you started posing, it was very jeans act. It was very commercial. What was going on? After my last photo shoot with you, you had told me that I didn't have any personality on the set. And it's just kind of intimidating to go in there because i mean you are a judge but every single client and photographer you're ever going to meet are actually judging you and also in terms of showing a personality they could be asking questions like tyra all i know is free tibet is there anything else you can give me you notice know, i would be like oh well, let me tell you about this you know about the dalai lama do this sometimes a personality is a question you listen tyra we all know you were not about to sit there and give this girl a history lesson on tibet we all know one thing I notice from doing reaction videos on these episodes is that the girls can never win, no matter what they do, no matter what they say. If the judges say, you need to have more of a personality, and then they have more of a personality, oh, well, you need to tone it down. You're being too much. Or if the girls don't have an opinion, oh, well, why don't you have an opinion? You're really quiet. We don't think you want to be here. And then when they do have an opinion, oh, but you're being defensive and clients aren't going to like this. No one's going to want to work with you the girls can never win i feel bad for these models they go through a lot on the show hello Brittany. okay so what hoppa were you i was half east indian half native american very stoic i don't like the color toning on this photo the pose is the pose is nice i think the models are doing great jobs actually i like the pose a lot what's funny was i was actually holding it back Sunday, you took initiative on the set. I was like, trying. <laughs> like, she would sit trying. a certain way, and then she was like, can I turn? And then I say, okay, Sunday, change it up. And she stood up. And I was like, oh, this looks good. <laughs> so you actually did something that I wasn't thinking. So she admits that she had the girls basically in one pose. Which, again, is the photographer's fault. The photographer should be the one directing the model, saying, okay, stand up, sit down, do this. Sunday just... And, the, and they affirmed that sunday was the one who was like hey can i stand up if this doesn't tell you guys that it, the models are doing all that they can like you just heard it from tyra and the model herself sunday i was malagasy and japanese okay let's see your best shot it's stunning from top to 
Okay, this photo right here, I love the colors in this. The greens and the yellows work so beautifully together. Overexposed background, I hate it. But the lighting on the face is great. The retouching is nice. The pose is really cool. I like the pose. I think she did a great job. And they got that stick. <laughs> they got the stick in like half the pictures. I mean, I think they modeled with them well. It added something to the picture. It just doesn't fit the theme that they're portraying you know well that's the end see ya